Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. After a round of morning showers, a little dry time could still see a few more of those showers and storms pulse up through the late afternoon and evening. Temps in the meantime, deep in the 80s. Southwest breeze continuing on there. We'll at least it back to the upper 60s. A few fog banks, yeah, not out of the question. Could slow you down if you're planning on making a long trip first thing tomorrow morning. Especially if you leave first thing and are heading off to really the north of the Wilmington Metro deep 80s again tomorrow, almost a copy and paste kind of forecast rain chances, perhaps just a little lower. Don't lose the forest through the trees here, though. There's going to be lots of dry time to take advantage of this weekend. Yes, some concerns with afternoon showers and storms that will convect in the atmosphere, but in between then, hey, yeah, no problems. If you want to go out and get a morning run in, it's going to be on the muggy side. Memorial Day Monday, yeah, looks like we'll be dry as well. By the afternoon, a couple isolated showers and storms may pop up there. Just a good idea overall to keep tabs on your WECT First Alert weather app. There's the QR code. You can download it for the Apple or Android device of your choice. And make sure to set those location settings to follow you, so that way you'll be alerted to showers in your vicinity and also lightning. And especially this time of year when a lot of folks are going to be outside on the beach, lightning alerts are very imperative to keep you safe. Let's take it to downtown Wilmington. Bob King GMC first alert sky cam high top the Murkison building. It's officially 85 at the airport under fair skies. You see some of those higher elevation clouds off to the southeast, a south southwest wind at 10 and dew points closing in on 70. It is an early taste of summer for the unofficial kickoff to summer with the Memorial Day weekend. There are some of those morning showers now moving off to the east. This is that band that moved through first thing, and now we've got some intervals of sun. We'll likely keep that, but still watch for some developing rain and storm clusters through the afternoon and evening. Exact locations, of course, very hard to determine just with how convective the atmosphere is, but the trends continue to be the same come tomorrow. Developing in the afternoon, lingering through the evening might be a good idea to just keep that umbrella with you as an insurance policy, but lower rain chances by the time we hit Sunday afternoon. So some guarded optimism there still around 20% for the daytime, but I think the coverage overall will be a little less. And let's tuck the tropics, shall we? About eight days away from the official start of the Atlantic hurricane season and one area of disturbed low pressure could develop into something subtropical. If it does, it's going to be away from us and not a threat. So we'll couch low odds there, a little preseason activity, if you will. By and large, temps close to 90 for much of the holiday weekend, and that'll linger even into Tuesday. Our weather alert radio programming event come Wednesday. And take a look at this into June, lower and middle 80s, John, but uh, the pattern a little more settled. So rain chances, not all that substantial. All right, nice holiday weekend ahead, though, Gabe. Shouldn't look pretty good, right? Yeah. All right, thank you, sir.